Welcome to Preserving Our Oral History. Today we are showcasing Lawrence Simon, um, also known, well, well known as Uncle Levan. Yeah, first of all, Botoba was an area where people was there met by an old grandparents. From Yamara, they walk across and go to Botoba. That is in the year 2830. And after then, a woman named of Breen, she got a child. Three months after then, the place vanished away with an amount of 175 person. After that amount of years, I was born in year 52, and I went there when I was 24 years of age. And when I reached there, there was still the post standing. Plenty of cucurit was there until now. So much that you could encourage your minds to go and pick. The ponds that was washed away, or what we call a um, landslide, the length of it is 150 feet by 30. Having cedar around it and ite palms. That is one. Two. In 1940, until when I was born, in 1952, this community here was very so much local. Let us think about their clothing. Their clothing were so much made from cotton, you know, long time, the uh, flower bag. That was their clothes. They had no scissors, n just hunting knives. And that is what they cut their pants or their shirt or their clothing to make for woman and man and children. Stitching. They make wood needles to stitch the clothing. And their thread was crawa. The crawa they string it on a rope and they pull it down. And when they pull it down, it comes something like when you strip straw. Then they start to spin it as fine as they could and put it through the wooden needle. Now in that days, they are so much thinking about food. Their food was just like thinking about hunting, fishing, and also they made their lives through by mastermani, known as mustard. Those was their time that has been passed during the years 40 to when I was born in 1952. Old days now, as they are thinking about jokes, known as what you call washiba, washisha, wajashisha, there's a rock now, right? Now I said the old days English translate to a rock. The joke means Malaku, that is the Arawak. Ol means Hibeli. Days means Kasaka, Kasakabu, that is days. And in English, we end there, translate the English to Arawak. My grandfather, who was born in 1929, he was my great grand, and they call him Ol Stick. And my grandmother known as, my grandfather known, my name was Dave Simon. And my grandma's name was Ajud Simon. My grandfather went to hunt. And when he got to hunt the deer while sleeping, the deer was just watching him and then stepped away. My grandfather had one axe handle was five feet long. So when he lift up this axe, it stuck in a branch and hook and my grandfather fall. Whereas when he fall to the ground, he started to laugh, laugh. When he got up and watch around, there was no deer. And grandfather already shared the deer for his son, his daughter, and his own self. Right? That is a part of that. During 1930, 33, that was born, 33 times. We had 
we need to also come over my, my mistress um, grandmother mother she was an an um, grandma Kalau and her mother she was from St. Francis to come over in St. Cuthbert's in 1933-30. When she came over here, they come on a walk on a cricket day. Most of the people from over there was our walk. And the, most of the relatives was like Uncle Schumann. James was her sister, um, brother. That is um, Lydia. Lydia Daniels, uh, no, Lydia Schumann, them time. And when she is then when she got married, um, Emmanuel, she turned um, Bernard. So then when she returned back to St. Francis, old Emmanuel made himself so active where he could follow the sweet girl known as Lydia. Her sister, or, or not her sister, her mother name was Sophia. She was Sophia Schumann. And so that is the way that how they return back here now. When the people from here, the sweet boy then, you gotta see, return and follow back the girls at St. Francis and bring them back to live here. That is in the 3033. Good. Yeah, next with that put your put on. Yeah, the clothing that they make, the those days like now was flower bag you know you could remember the flower bag was come from foreign was the 100 pounds and they just used to make they just make like brief with it they make shards with it this had this plastic one the, uh, cotton the cotton one, like. the cotton one they just make woman clothing with it mm. they make woman um underwear on the same the same thread or tell about the e killing or the spin it and put it for the rope. Those days in the 2930s. And and then put to the foot again, put fine ropes and just dry it. Like when you put the bow, yeah, something like this. So that's how they use to um, clothe themselves in them days. So that's how they got through, got through with it until they start to move like from um from here to my hike and then I start by clothing and so they had no machine like today like what we do now. Hand. Hand stitching them days. So this is how they start make the clothing. Bed nets and so two three of them wanna come and stitch the square net with the same twine. It's after then they get civilized in the year like 48 time. And so in the 48 time they used to move through to go my hike you now. And then it's got like get them money like kind things to sell. Like boat and parrot and farm products and so paddle. The same TV series. And them do them times, right? The the straw ball, one of them straw ball was only three cents for one. Big one so. Big size. Three cents. That when they got like three dollar or four dollar for a bag there's plenty money those days it's from then i started like buying rice before them times they used to plant rice in the um, swamp of the mission most food was um, cassava and plenty provision fine and all this stuff so that's how they used to make the living no selling of meat no selling of fish kill one bush cut it sheer all to houses mm. All meat and fish and so. It's only in the in the forty six, forty eight time they start to sell. Twenty five dollar for a string, twenty five cents I mean silver. Them times. So that's how they start sell sell things. Yeah. That's how everything start. I know myself at twelve years I started cooking. I assist my father in farm. We had a nice um hot one house then with board and zinc and everything then mostly only a few morning we use um mary mice and then my father started um balata bleeding in upper terry in Rupununi. and when he make four strip he bring in like gas lamp them days tilly lamp and coal man and so so we get little and like them days like 
with them things. We get like a um, farm produce. We used to get them things selling at them time already. Now, when I start my school, and I start my school for nine years. From 12 years, I start go school and start Anglican Church movement. Start ring Angelus. Six o'clock morning, six o'clock midday, and six o'clock afternoon. That was me work from, from them time to now. Now me 71. I still, you know, forget me um, church. Yeah, so at uh, them time, now when I was 12, I, I started me gardening already. The same the well back, the whole thing I used to press pagas and make drain and then pull it with pagas and start me greens for 12 years. Start cook. Water was no free to me. You, that's like a bicycle or you get a um, barrow or any little bike to move. Then there was wheel, wood wheel, you can remember? We make wood wheel them time and we just get like two buckets. We got land then. I just put on my rice like when I come out from school 11. By 12 o'clock. I don't make two trips on my rice and buy land next to you and go back to school. Now, you got sink, you got water right here now, and then children don't wash wheels and don't cook nothing. And them days, me can make two trip morning, early five o'clock, go and put on my, my shoe before I left, and my tea. Make another trip again, come back, and then I make um, floaters or I'll bake or something. Then I can set myself for school. Midday, so as I call my mother, then I go farm, right where, where my farm at the back. And move through a gaga lunch set before me all by and dinner before them. When I come from farm 5 30, me don't got hot tea and food ready for them. So as I don't cook, so it's landing, two, three trips. So I go easy to morning, you know, I can make one trip for bed only and back. There's me days in 12, 12 years and so. 13, 14, 15 years, and 16 years I left school. After me help me all by all wrong. The first trip will start now and I get work. I gone by um, Timiri in front. You know where Korea have been? Right there, I gone to work. Well, I worked through a couple of years and after that, I start brace me all by the farm. Give me money. Buy me own stuff, my beds and pot and stove and so everything he start with from like second fortnight money. So me start elevate right through. And then when I finished work for Raya now, the money was so small, and then I said, think about going interior now. I used to um, rear chicken. One of me pen used to hold 1,000. The smallest one is 500. I we had 32 pen. And each one of the workers used to look after them. Me used to look after them. I worked for the three months, and after that, I started with the beacon, the big chick. Then I walked through the incubator. I left them you now and I got no more. I just left the garden, everything where they had one and a half acre garden I used to do. All. And then next I got now, just in cheer and the beak and set the eggs and so. Then time. When I finished you now, I left off the, and then I got an the interior now for the, for the work. I got to start make pools and from pools I worked for only two months and from pools I left, I turned clerk. Paul Clark, just get your scribe and your book and your move through. You check polls and so. I walk through in them times then and after then, in, uh, in 1972, the 26th, 27th of September, me ask some girl in them age, 72. I asked her she's Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon I catch plane for go kite show. Right there we are going government work. I go kite show there now and we start the building. You see them hot water there with them shingle and everything up to now them by say that. We, we, we make the... We had we own Land Rover. We have own boat with a 20 horsepower engine. And we and from then on we walked through and I asked for three days from one of the arm warden. Got the warden I look after it. And I got to Mike Walk. 
because I meet the captain from my quack and I got trained there for my cassava. Because they telling me get ID for my cassava, he meet me, bring higher marrants for me. When I go up by my quack now, it was big, big banana, big banana, about 12 banana, one in the middle for the captain and wrong this is darting and sunny. Nice. I reached there about, when I left 6 o'clock, I meet about 9, 10 o'clock. It's far with the boat at 20 hours power. Yamaha. When you reach the now, they don't peel cassava, everything, they were great. Great about one, six, seven big warishi. So I got stay there. When they finish, they start matapi. I show them I got matapi once more. They want to matapi once. And they take all the keli. And they straight away, if you saw the keli, I kill the grass them. And they got big canary. When I go on there now and I show them, say that no. The wrong things I do. Let's show them and tell them firewood, put rocks, put the curry, curry up there, and then throw the arm keel in, and boil it and store it and mix it with them. Like keel, you to tell them how you rinse the fish. Put it inside now. Tell them if I got pepper, they say yes. Bring four big pepper, throw it in. I sweeten it now, take a little sugar and I throw it inside because they don't know about like sugar salt and stuff. And I walk with Ajay in my pocket and I mix it with the salt and just throw it and mix it up and throw it inside. Store and put add it nice. I show them how to make cassava everything just like cool. When I finish you now, then get the aki now they're gonna sit down now. The tosha goes straight to me, he got fed on his head, so he said. Well done, it is good for me. I will enjoy this from now on. I was wasting my food. Yeah. And they start, if you see calabash out of calabash, they drink the juice. The whole three quarter curry they drink out of. I carry cigarette from the smallest child, so they say they burn up, they smoke. I carry cheese, they treat away soap. Not good. <laughs> they saw a guard up there, up to the area there. Show them all kind of thing. Now cassava selling my quack. They make red cars and they set the key and everything good. This is how far I gone up there. We are no doctors in the 28th, 26th and up to 30. No doctors were in here in them time. Just PI man. And this PI man was naturalized, he could cure you with leaves. Horrible any grasses and such a horrible he used to work with and he had what they call hala he make like turtle where they put this a hollow wood and hala and if i like if he's sick you go wrong in this thing you start start pray and when you start pray now you can see you can start shake with it the same wood be a common wood i make but just got foot and move with it. You got headache, you got fever while it's passing here, go wrong with that, you walk with it. Just press yourself, press your neck, press your stomach, press your back. Pain gone, headache gone, sickness gone. Cure. That's how he used to do. He just make a um, bina for, for the hunt man and so like you and the deer come, he could come right in the yard. As long as he see truck, they could drop something inside the truck, but they call it um, compelling oil. But you gotta get this um, yellow thing, something like curry. It's a dye. You just get her, and then I, I got the leaves somewhere. You just get it, the tree, and this tr this um, small thing like a those you carry the foot truck just like deer. So you gotta get the middle and mix it up. And then you put a compelling oil inside with a little um, coconut oil, about six, seven drop, and mix it. Little bottles with a rubber cart. Put it in your pocket. If you see the deer truck, you put two drops inside, you cork it back. Before you cork it, now you just come extra. Rub it in your forehead. When you rub it, on the deer coming one speed, but you gotta be a good shot, man. And you kill it. Just so with the bush come again. The bush curry just get a backbone stuff for me back. Just like curry, I get big, big fat things, so just borst it and get it. 
you get the compelling oil and then you mix it with it. And then you get the bush cow foot. Now the leaf was still like the bush cow foot again. And you cure and mix it. So when old Pai had an owl, he used to come like only go like behind this bush right there. He was something wrong. I'll show them my grandfather used to kill cow in the LA Island. You only hear from home, so where he live, you only hear the gun that pow, pow, come back with the ears in the pocket, you come back. Now me grandfather, now Eric cut out, he tell him, man, you really got too much a charm, or is what you got really, man, or is luck you got? He said, I must come for it. So now he got for my grandfather gone now, for borrow it now. When he got borrow it now, he get a little thing, I tell you what for do. Now he said that um, as soon as you reach the line, you see the truck, if it's fresh or you won't throw it inside. Now he got the, um, the long plimper, what they call hold me back, a whole bunch. And now right there you stand up and you got a report so in case the cow come. And he come back one rush to here, skinny teeth and you come to here. And the old man is naked. When he reached now and the bush cow come straight up to his side, he just pelt down the gun and the bush cow knock it down inside the plimpo bush. Tumble it down upside it down, he just try to get away very well. When he can't get away no way, there's a whole alley face of so the rush for here, rush all the alley face so dig up his plimpo. So. Mash up, all the hand, he can't move. So that's how he been a think like he could bad more than me, grandfather would be in a left way. Old Pai. That's how he make charm. In <coughs> Charles, I call you like fishing and hunt and everything. And you never experienced the Yaku running, so never tried not to do it. Somebody never felt you. I call Saji them, they said them Yaku felt from them or something. Then, um, but you never experienced it. Uh, or what? The spirit never experienced it. 72 old years night. Oh. He had a um, old years party in the same um, primary school. Oh. And then me bring me bring Claudia till up to where you sell them a live. He had a big cashew tree there. Oh. Gone back and I dropped she and she come. She meet home and then I gone home and I coming back about three o'clock. All our reach were beeping and there was bush, all there was bush. So me alone I walked through, me I got through Charlotte, then, oh, through Auntie Charlotte, then was here, Siri. The same road again, but was Siri. Small truck. Then I turned back from the side dear of them, then I dropped she home. And then me I come back now, go easy, easy, gone. Then I got parked up. I stay about one more, one then I come with. As soon as I reached by you, I them by the cashew. There was a man, big boy, and big so. Hold me, just from the series, so he just stepped myself and just hold me straight. Lock me off. He said this locking out don't look too nice, eh? you know, healthy. And then I just got right down and I pushed my foot straight down and I'll tell you, fall down, straight down, till up to the side I got the, um, the little prick. There was a little prick like flat, bam. Roll, but was dry weather. Roll and roll, I would have one hour fight. But the place where it conquer me now is when you hold this foot for push it at the back. Here. And then I spin and spin and I get like a breast in, I bite the breast up. Bite, sure, here, here, Ali. Yeah. And when I get done now, same time look that come from the party. And as soon as the meat was said, I dig the hole, go cross upon the two plant. Right there now, they have a fight to their come now, look at Bridget. And they reach still by me. I saw they reach by me, so that thing they lose me and run. Me old scared the sheer sun. All I feel like is, how you can't come in now is something like you train me. Right? So the thing I'm born, they say it's um, dry pepper or something that is treating me. Right? Now, the, the fighting done when I see me up on the ground. There was a steamy drunk, but he's fighting when I fight. The man runs straight through the bush. They bring me home. 
Try reach on bed. When I go inside the house and up on the bed by you, I'm clasping them. Can't sleep. She's haunted. I want to come out steady. They've been on me long already. Yeah. Morning, wake up. Grandmother Kala, now she take the um, water and treat in the matter. Give me for drink. Then we talk. Okay. Four days after now, he still behind me. Through the little, you remember, you know, his money cool. So I put the money cool so he doesn't get a little hole, so. Now find you are like this. For born. Like from me to you, right there in bed. Then push, straight so for push it in my ears. To bore me. And then me tell the old boy something and bother me here, you know. He said, well, me tell watch me hold something here. When you bring the tar sign shine, it's a euro. Straight here, push it straight through the bore it through the net, he's so steady. They used to come out. He called me off very well. They used to happen to me. During uh, last year, early February been topside. Set net flung it about. So I float down and come down. I said that is enough. He said four seed. So as I meet my Konipa. There was a man from the meeting with somebody who wanted to drop with the boat. I mean, I pull and pull and pull and pull and pass. All the way here through the side road, they may be going side track. Tell for skimmy them. And the thing they're behind, right through, broop, 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 right through side side, right through. And me to see Benny now, but you must see the stink of me going there, we see Benny. As I meet by the little savants, overboard, like bush cow, jump over and go side side. But you stop well, me straight up to skimmy them. Drift. When I meet by um by Barney landing in front of me pull. Reach by skimmy them. And the thing gone up. Who wait for me must say by the camp. You know get me. There's two times over here. Um, pass through. Bush people. Yeah, me fight with one and then them other one not follow me. Cocorito. Cocorit me me carry kush. We got here and juice. And you know, like when you meet a cockroach mouth with a set net, and we set some long line. So, me say, me will buy those time, he says, son, you go there, you gotta be careful. So, me get them rice bag, and me push cushion inside. So, so me put it by creek side, and me there in the car, and this side with the gun. That's why we had the 20. So I said we could shoot lab or anything while it's coming up because we know still on two, three look. So we catch plenty looking on it. One o'clock time is something just comes straight to a little camp by. Walking through. When it shines out, nothing bright light, you know, we got every walk that time. Right? Nothing again. You say me not sleep at all. Just take your hand here and tie here. I'm going to tie it my strap, not his strap, before in case he go hard, I'm knock a five leg, no? And that there whistle, wrong and wrong and wrong and want to fight to come steady by your way. So some years out the walk, he said, no, nah, boy, this no work good at all, got to lose. I make me, I make me a little down his back by me there, I put it low, can you be small? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was me only my company, okay? It's only them three things like me pass for since I know myself. Yeah, but up to this age. Thank you to all the donors that made this a possibility. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye! Until the next time.